Hey everybody, what's up? It's me, Sharpie PSO2, and I'm here to explain something for you. In today's video, we're going to be going over the newest 5-star weapon series in the game, the Sequim series. The potential of this weapon is Virtuoso Unit, which gives a percentage towards potency determined by level. The maximum becomes 26% at level 4, only 1% off of the level 4 potency from the Relic series weapons. The potential also gives a percentage towards additional rest assign HP recovery and reduces PP consumption by 1% for each of the different weapon and unit augments. This maxes at 15% for potentials level 1 through 3, but increases to 20% at potential level 4. There has been some debate as to whether this potential makes the Sequim series technically better than the Relic series, and ultimately, it comes down to one thing. The potential. If the Sequim series potential requires unique affixes in order to proc the potential, then it wouldn't be incredibly viable compared to a Relic series weapon. I tested this and was able to determine that unique affixes are required to proc the PP consumption for Sequim series weapons. I'll include how I determined that later in the video. As a reminder, this potential can be patched by Sega and changed at any time. I recorded this video on February 17th, 2022, but highly encourage all viewers who are watching this video at a later date to test the potential in-game themselves in order to confirm nothing has changed. Now, without any further ado, let's showcase the difference! So the very first thing that I actually did after I was able to log in was actually purchase just two brand new trees and I equipped them. Then very shortly after I went ahead and actually equipped my weapons. And this is me actually just setting my PAs. Uh, you can see which PA I have set here. So inside of that very first uh, slot, I have my normal attack, my weapon action, my and then my conveyance shot. Um, I have a couple of other just default sets here that I use for them, so if you want to check specifically which PAs I'm using later on, you should be able to do that from here. Then I go ahead and actually use my potential stuff. Uh, now I actually didn't have enough photon scales to unlock all of my potentials. So I just went ahead and used the photon scales that I did have in addition to some of the items that I got from the AC support scratch when they were on sale for super duper cheap to actually unlock the first level of the potential. I was checking to see if maybe they actually went up to plus 50. Uh, it doesn't look like that's the case. They just go up normally to plus 40, but I just had to plus 40 both my wand and my talus. Whenever I'm farming, like if I'm just AFK farming inside of an area, for whatever reason, I'll always get a bunch of silver and gold prim swords. And so I've just been sticking them all inside of the same gold sword or so up until about plus 20. And I still have some that I still need to affix just from literally farming, but it helped. It came in, it came in handy. me just showing that, yeah, it's currently maxed. Basically, this scene is just to show that neither of them have any augments on them. Just showed off my units. They basically all have Deft 1 as well as Dole So 2 on them. Uh, they all have that. But I go ahead and I'm like, you know what, actually, we need to set a base, right? So I unequip all of them and I'm like, no, actually, I should have equipped them anyway. This is why you all shouldn't be streaming you testing stuff out because your chat will just get you very, very confused. Nah, I love my chat, they're great. 
This is actually with Dull Soul and Deft One equipped right now. You can see it's currently using 15 power points and I check and I'm even like, yo, I have Deft One and Dull Soul on here. And even though it is giving me plus five PP, it's not adding any additional damage to anything, which is awesome. And it's not also taking away any PP. Technically, I should have 6% PP cooldown, which is what you see me saying here. I even go back and actually check to make sure, yeah, this is what the potential says. It says it should be giving plus one. 6%, even with all of that, should still roll up to plus one. So I should be seeing some type of base removal, but I'm still seeing 15. I actually went ahead and affixed three different units and I put one different type of resistance on each one. We'll check it out later. You can see I don't have the additional PP. I, I, my base is just 103. So from 103 to 89, is actually 14 instead of 15. It rounded up to include that 1%. Now I know that it's counting all of my unique affixes. I'm gonna go ahead and put back on my Deft One and my Dull Soul units, all three of them with the exact same affix, and we're gonna go ahead and test again and it actually uses 15 double P. Wait a second, I just proved something here. I'm gonna go ahead and affix my stamina and deafness one unit. My second unit is my guard alt soul one, and my third one is my poison ward and pain ward one. So that is six different unique affixes, none of which that coincide with another. And we put it back on and I still get 89 which is like, okay, that's bizarre. So now I go ahead and take off all my units and I'm just doing the skill base here, right in here. I actually get 15. So we can show that it actually does cost 15. So when I have the dual soul on and the deafness one units on, uh, it actually is literally not using them at all and is not even counting the potential. The potential is not active at all. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'm a brand new PSO2 YouTuber, so if you really like what you see, it does help if you leave a comment and a like, as well as mashing that subscription button, all right? If you'd like to see more of the streams like this, or you want to just check me out whenever I'm live, you can go ahead and join the Discord. There's a link inside the description. From there, you'll get notifications from my latest Twitch streams, brand new PSO2 videos, and even cute little posts from my Instagram. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Bye.